Hey guys, Umar here for Architect Daily Sketches and I have a short tutorial for you. Now recently, we saw one comment by Nippon Kapekar who asked how to draw a human figure from plan view. Now that is rather unusual because I'm not actually used to hand drawing human figures from above, but I thought it was really interesting subject to explore and it's definitely suitable for a short tutorial. So I thought, why not? So I've been drawing a few examples here, you can see there. And I figured out a way that could possibly help with this. And it has a lot to do with foreshortening and using, you know, this little guy right here. So what I noticed about drawing human figures from above is that, number one, it's their head that's visible, their head, their shoulders, and their feet. And depending on other physical attributes that you can add to make it have character. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that first. So the first position that I'm going to show is a human standing upright. Now, when somebody does that, what happens is you see the top of their head and then you see their shoulders and their shoulders can be drawn something like a triangle or a wedge. And then they either have a chest or you could draw a slight bulge if they're if they have a dad bot and then just two feet sticking out. And if you want to ink that out, it's going to be something like this. So you have the head and then here you have the shoulders and a little tummy here and then a feet sticking out. So there you go. That's actually a human figure from above. Now, if you want to draw a woman from above, you'd be doing almost the same thing as well. You'd have the head and you'd have a slightly smaller wedge here because women are, their stature has narrower shoulders and just a, a little lump here to, to, to show their biology. And of course, two feet as well. And you could, sh you could, you could make the back slightly bigger just to show that, just to give it like a little hairstyle. So after that, you can have that. And that's a woman from above. By the way, guys, when you're sketching, definitely don't be afraid to use the pencil first and then to ink it later. That, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. So that's a human figure standing upright, but of course, when you want to show them in plan view, especially for urban design, you want to show human ingress and egress, their activities. What about them walking, sitting, talking, all those things? So that's where this guy will come in handy. And that's where a knowledge in foreshortening will also help. And I'll explain further. Foreshortening is the awareness of perspective and how it distorts a view of something, of an object. So if you were to look at a cylinder from above, let me do that with this. If you were to look at a cylinder from above, you would see that it would taper downwards like a cone. And that shows that you are looking at a cylinder from above. So the same things are happening with the human limbs as well. So for example, when you see a human being sitting down, you still get to see the head and you get to see the shoulders. And then you add some thighs, add thighs and a pair of feet. So this would look something like this, a head, a torso, give him a tummy, some thighs, and some feet. Now, of course, it will be kind of unnatural if they were to just sit down like this with their with their hands extended downwards like this. It's a little bit unnatural. Sometimes you'd have your hands across your lap, right? So to add that human touch, you can just add a foreshortened arm. Something like that. Let me draw another one with the arms. Now, arms are slightly tricky because that's where foreshortening really, really counts. Because you are looking at a limb from a high perspective, kind of like the cylinders, so you get to see a rather drastic foreshortening happening in, on the limbs of your shoulders and elbows. Thighs. 
So if we were to draw that out, you'd have the head, you have the shoulders, and here you can have, okay, this is from the shoulder all the way to the elbow, and then this is the forearm and the little hand. Now the forearm all the way to the hand will look pretty normal because it's lateral like this. So it is not really in a plane that has a perspective. We can draw the other one. So here is his thighs. And there you go. So this is a human being sitting down. So how about a human being lying down? Let's say that he's, he's with his buddies and he is lounging on like a park bench. So let's imagine that these guys are sitting on a nice little park bed. These guys are sitting on stools and they have one friend who's sitting on a lounge chair. So how do we draw that? So yeah, you have the head and then you have the shoulders. The shoulders will be slumped a lot more forward because they are leaning against their back. So their pectorals would also be visible a little bit of the waist and maybe the arms are outstretched to show that they're relaxing and notice that everything is just drawn really loosely because I know that I'm just going to fix it up by using the ink later okay so that would be the head, okay, shoulders, the arms, there's a guy from above just sitting on a lounge chair. Okay, I think the last thing that I will draw is a person walking because you definitely have a lot of that if you're doing urban design plans where you want to show ingress and egress. So for a person walking, again, you'd have the head, you'd have the shoulders and the torso. You have a little stub of an arm here going forwards and a little one going backwards. Then you have the back of your ankle here and a tiny bit of your foot. And here you can see a little bit of your thigh and a little bit of your foot. So that's a person walking. Now I'm going to do a few more just to complete the scene and give it a little bit more life. <laughs> So there you have it. Now you have a convivial setting showing how the space is going to be used by the people in it. So to sum up again, what you need to remember is foreshortening and also the position, the basic composition 
of the human figure from above, which is basically head, shoulders, and feet. Just remember a head on top of a wedge, that's the shoulder, and then two feet pointing out. That's the most basic idea of it. And then for shortening, for when you want to lean the person and you want to show a little bit of the torso or if they are walking. And that's basically it. So guys, we've had a lot of fun doing this, so we'd love to hear more from you. You know, leave in the comment below what else you'd like to see us to do, and we'll try our best to come up with more tutorials for it. So let's have a dialogue, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for so much for watching. To watch more videos, click on one of the boxes right here. And if you're not subscribed yet, click right here. Thanks for watching.